Good day everyone. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, for Before we start, we have uh, a lot of requests to uh, where we are on a uh, live and uh, we have added the link for you. You see it at the bottom uh, of this uh, channel. Uh, you will see a link to our new live channel where we go live every day. So. You're very welcome for the ones our requester where we are. Uh, we just moved to new channel and you will see the link at the bottom. Uh, today is Monday and everybody knows what happened uh, overnight. Uh, it is an amazing day. It continue dropping. Uh, as we see here, this is the automated trading signal on the, on the swing trading on the left corner. As we see here, we had a short trade on the automatic trade, 280225, target 275425, which we are hitting right at the target. On the uh, market analyzer is based on one contract. And as you see here, uh, we have two contracts uh, on, um, uh, on, the, uh, on the NASDAQ. And if we look at the ES, we have two contracts. So if we look at the ES, is 28.02.25 based on one contract is 2.087. And here, because it's based on two contract, we have 4,200 uh, uh, on that trade. If we look on the NASDAQ, we have an entry on 81.42, target 8009. Uh, we have a 443 based on one contract, and then this is 2185. And as we see on the NASDAQ is a double because we have a two contract and that is 4,545. So based on one contract on the uh, swing trade in one minute is almost 2,000 uh, ticks and that's 1,900, 2,000 ticks. There we go, we just hit the 2,000. So do we have to uh, trade all of them no you don't uh, es nasdaq down zones for a small account if you have a little bigger account you can add the cl and the gold but uh, you don't have to trade all of them you can trade es nasdaq down zones that will do it one contract each for a small account for a medium size account two contract each and then we have the cl and then on the scalper as well uh, the scalper here, uh, as we see, we are already in a trades. Uh, as an example, uh, on the NASDAQ, we are just about to hit. On the scalper, we use a white chart. On the swing trading, we use a blue chart. Uh, as we see on the scalper, uh, the system is very smart, very advanced trade. If this market is trending, it's going to turn the scalper to swing trading and extend the target by itself while you are in a trade. So it's not a very fixed uh, target. It just depends on the market movement. If this market moving, then the scalper is going automatically uh, extend the trade for you, which is a very smart because also on the scalper, uh, your stop loss are uh, very small and uh, we will... Um, uh, uh, on the uh, and then if the market is trending, as you see, the scalper on the Nasdaq is doing very fine. Also, uh, uh, can sometimes enter the market a bit early. So this is a uh, really uh, very nice. And now we are about to hit the target. Uh, as we see on the swing trading, we are about to hit the target. The system has estimated uh, twenty-seven fifty-one twenty-five. And then on the uh, on the uh, let's look the other market as well. Uh, let's look at the YM. At the YM, as you see, uh, it is four thousand. Uh, the entry now we have a new signal on the thirty-year Treasury bond buy, which this is indicate uh, the market might go a little bit farther down. And uh, this is really. Uh, it was one direction today. That's all what we can say. Uh, let's look at uh, another market. Uh, we looked at the YM. ES, we are on four. It just hit the target, as you see here. 
uh, the ES just hit the target. NASDAQ, we have it on the other side, but we can look at it here as well. Uh, the NASDAQ has already hit the target and now is going back to retest the 807575. CL, uh, CL, we are around uh, 1900 on the CL. Uh, on the Russell, uh, we are around 2400. Uh, we're going to stay a little bit. Uh, for the other automated trade, um, uh, we have them all practically uh, done. We still have one CL five minutes. Uh, still, uh, actually, is the first trade uh, and have not closed uh, on the uh, other uh, automated trade. It's a different type of an automated trade. As you see from the box here, there is no trade previous, which this is the first trade uh, that AutoTrade took, and it is around. Uh, 2400 uh, we can uh, go to uh, the others practically they're all done uh, we can uh, take one at the time maybe uh, and we are only using minute we're not using some funny charts and uh, this one here it was very nice and smooth uh, on the nasdaq one minute we hit uh, 1550 uh, it was uh, based on two contracts. We have some of the charts are based on two contracts and we have charts that are based uh, on four contracts and you can immediately see it like uh, this one here, the NASDAQ five minutes is based on four contracts and it was, this is where uh, the overnight, where the market shut down overnight overseas. And then when uh, we started early today, uh, we had beautiful four nice trades and then we got four nice trade we had actually two entries on the nasdaq five minutes and it hit 32.50 and uh, and as you see uh, it was the last trade from the box 1500 daily profit uh, 32.50 that was a beautiful right uh, on the nasdaq We will try to take another trade. Uh, I mean, uh, one of the things is where this is where a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, this is where this overnight is a big mess. And um, a lot of people, they try to encourage you stay away from the one minute because it's not clear, a lot of noises. But the reality is, uh, is you are been diverted from a reality uh, like uh, when somebody say the one minute fib does not work you have to go five minutes it's actually the other way around maybe this person fibs does not work in one minute but does not mean uh, that the fibs uh, I mean if we if we look at this chart here you can see those fibs uh, we can take anything you like. We can take the ES and we can see how the FIBs are accurate on the one minute. But if somebody do not have uh, the FIBs working on one minute does not mean you have to go to the five minutes or some other higher time frame uh, to, to use the FIBs. Maybe the FIBs are wrong, but uh, the one minute, uh, I, I keep insisting for the last few years to look at the one minute, if the one minute work on an indicator, that's mean it's going to work on all the time frame. If you have an auto trade works on one minute, that's mean your auto trade, you can, you can put it anywhere. You can put it on any different time frame. It will work. Whether it's rank or range, everything you want, you can optimize the auto trade from the one minute and then you can move on. And this one minute template, you can move it and test it on four range and on um, uh, on takes on, on anything you want. And you will find that there is always superb results. But the secret is if the one minute does not work on the FIBS, uh, then that's mean you have a problem. And that's why you have been diverted to rank a bar or a line break or a higher time. We have a higher time frame for swing trading purposes but not for scalping purposes and as we see this is the es is the most accurate and as we see how the one minute is right in line 
with the fib lines and when it break out came into the projection and a gentleman this is one minute so uh, nobody can challenge the one minute not unless if you have the right tools so this is uh, a case close about this and uh, I don't want to keep uh, 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 trying to show you those tricks because uh, this is a uh, a lot of traders they have been diverted to a lot of different stuff which this is not the story so uh, on the ES one minute when I have an auto trade can hit the target 1100 on one minute that's mean I have the proper strategy and I have the proper time frame to check out the performance and I have the proper template and uh, so this is uh, the one minute uh, ES and I'm very proud I'm very proud of this ES 1100 more than the Nasdaq 5 minute 3500 so because this is a brain accuracy uh, to your system we can go on and on on all the charts uh, also we have uh, sent you today to our traders uh, some template for the Nasdaq on based on three minutes and five minutes and those are based on uh, two contracts and uh, I'm sorry the templates we have sent today in the webinar to our traders uh, is uh, the three minutes and four minutes and this is the second round this is where we open and this is uh, the second round for today and uh, you can see they're almost the same because one is three minutes and the second one is four minutes and uh, we sent you the templates uh, today and it is uh, at the traders hands uh, uh, let me uh, try to bring also CL uh, a lot of traders like CL as well which I do I, I prefer it more than uh, uh, Nasdaq actually uh, and uh, and uh, this is a beautiful uh, also we have sent this template uh, it is beautiful four trades today nothing else four trades and 2370 this is superb trade and uh, I couldn't do it better the way it exited and it uh, hit the target it is beautiful and uh, for the ES trader uh, also uh, we have another template with four contracts uh, the other one was with uh, two contracts and this is uh, the trade on the base on the four contracts also one minute is the same auto trade uh, the the T7 TI7 uh, automated to trade and it is based on four contracts and this is really hammering that trade and then uh, you can see on the previous trade was 600 and now we are going uh, to close uh, those uh, trades so that indicate maybe there is a good potential uh, for further uh, going down uh, we can go through all of them also uh, today we have give uh, to our traders uh, the YM and um, and as you see here from uh, this big mess we had overnight and this is where the markets open today and on the YM based on two contracts nailed 1600 uh, beautiful and it is done you know and uh, here we didn't have any trade and then I took those trades and this is also to our clients uh, those templates were sent to you today as well uh, for the five minutes YM because before we were doing uh, uh, CL Nasdaq and Dow Jones but some people wanted the, the Russell I have not got to the Russell but uh, we have sent out some template for the YM and this is uh, the five minutes YM uh, as we see uh, this is the overnight mess where the market was closed and then uh, we took a one trade this is also the five minutes based on two contracts and we nailed the 1845 and it is done and uh, we can keep going uh, all day long if you like you know I'm not gonna go through everything but uh, I wanna 
mention and proud of the one minute and uh, because not uh, just and this is the one minute again and as we see when we talk about the one minute does mean we're talking about everything it's, it's simple there is nothing to talk about anymore when your auto trade cannot perform on one minute does mean don't sit down and waste your time anymore on any performance or optimization is useless when the more the auto trade can perform on one minute does mean you have a winner here is irrelevant whether the one minute make 1400 or 1200 or 400 in that matter the most important that the auto trade can stay consistent uh, on uh, uh, on the one minute and uh, and what they say is not true because they're trying to avoid the one minute and the one minute it is the reality of any indicator performance or any auto trader performance and that is the end of the line about the time frame a lot of traders they have been misled on that and uh, don't take my word serious go ahead each one of you have an indicator take it from this rank board, whatever that is and put it on um, on one minute do the testing and you can see yourself the performance your auto trade is doing so this is i'm very proud of the the one minute uh, it's irrelevant how much it makes it made good money but uh, it's not what uh, can make is what can be consistent today it could be 1400 tomorrow it could be 4000 the day after it could be 200 it's irrelevant so this is uh, and uh, we have uh, we have different also uh, but uh, what i want to do uh, on this nasdaq we showed you on this video we're still on that trade uh we're not done yet uh this is from the scalper and uh, we still seems like the market is a little bit slowing uh, at the moment uh, we have uh, we hit 5000 on the nasdaq uh, this is very good and uh, and it's going farther down we're gonna keep this auto trade hanging in the middle and uh, i'm curious where we are going with this so i'm gonna stay a little bit longer uh, on that again guys uh, for the ones uh, they they've been following us and uh, do you'd like to follow us uh, we have moved to a new channel and you're very welcome you will see the link at the bottom of this video you're very welcome to follow us on a daily basis live thank you uh, i will stay another five minutes i stay quiet uh, to see where we are going my my ask my accept i mean uh, on the Nasdaq, I'm not expecting more than 79, 81, 75 because of the timing. It's two o'clock, but uh, uh, for the for the ES, uh, I'm expecting uh, maybe we can push it a little bit farther down to the 27.33. And um, let's look at the YM. Uh, the YM it is right in line so we do not need to change anything on that it's right at the fib line and uh, this is what it is i mean uh this is sad you're not trying to borrow the zone to put it on your strategy the strategy itself is a zone uh, it is a fine uh, base on 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 uh, uh on uh, you know uh, uh on, on on your line on your support resistant fibs you know so we're not taking one system putting it glue it to an auto trade and say now we can add the, there is nothing glue in here because the whole system here is based on the fibs we're not borrowing the fibs and then add them on a different strategy auto trade uh, and then we say here's the fibs and here's another strategy as a matter of fact this is the fibs is taking the trades it's not some other strategy it is very good to have to your auto trade with the fibs to see where you want to exit but that is the fibs taking the trade we're not gluing two different system uh, and trying to uh, to uh, so this one here has uh, is done on the es 
and then we can see it hit 2900 uh, on that trade and it is done this is beautiful and um, um, let's see if it's, uh, we'll wait another minute and see if uh, if uh, the market I'm expecting right now this market coming on the Nasdaq at uh, 8058 and there is a good potential re-entry point at 24 uh, 22 24 um, this is really something uh, let's look at uh, um, YM ES 4700 there is a re-entry here uh, Nasdaq 4865 uh, the CL uh, 2600 and it seems like look how beautiful it is uh, when the market came into the projection your your trading stop is based on fibs not a dummy trading stop everything is, is about fibs everything is about the zone and that's what it is when the market pulled back and we stayed in that trade because the trend is stop based on where is the price line, where is all the fibs, and it seems like we're gonna go further with that. And uh, for the Russell, uh, we are probably uh, the dead end for the Russell will be thirteen ten. Uh, that's uh, the end of the line for the Russell. So it seems like uh, we uh, we are uh, reach everything here, and uh, I wanna say. Uh, thank you very much and uh, for the ones like to because they've been sending us emails where we are uh, you will see the link at the bottom of that video uh, for where we have moved to the new channel thank you very much god bless you all and uh, see you tomorrow live on the other channel bye for now